All right, John, the next event on the track, the women's 60-meter dash. Here are the records. Alea Hobbs and Hannah Cunliffe co-hold the collegiate record. Hobbs with the meet record. And Courtney Johnson with the best time in the country this year. She is in this final. Tiana Daniels from Texas yesterday didn't get the greatest start, but closed really hard. I talked with her coach, Edric Floreal. I said, what does she need to do different? He said, she can't Michael Jackson it out of the blocks. She stood up and moonwalked backwards, but she has great top end speed and closed it out. And right next to her, Courtney Johnson from LSU. Yes, and the LSU senior went right back to work after winning the SEC title in the 60 just two weeks ago. At every practice that we had last week, the last uh, two weeks, I've been going hard, really been working on the things that I need to work on, such as staying relaxed and uh, coming out of the blocks and really, really um, working on that transition and that execution to even better that, because I know that this week is going to have to be a little bit better than what it was last week. And I just have to run my race, stay relaxed, and run like I know how to run. She had the fastest qualifier in the prelims yesterday. She told me she's got one thing she wants. She wants to run 6, 10, and PR. Watch her top end speed. Johnson at four, Daniels in five. Set. Decent start for Johnson, but not great. Shakari Richardson is right there. It looks like Tiana Daniels or Tanisha Terry up in Terry? lane one. It is Terry. And USC is just has all the momentum. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that reaction. One. Wow. And that equals the collegiate record, 7.14. This young lady as a sophomore has come in after a freshman campaign that really made a lot of people take a look. Look at that reaction. <laughs> she was the silver medalist on the 2018 under 20 championships. And it was almost a blanket start, but all the way down on the right of your screen, T.T. Terry had a fantastic drive phase, and her transition up into that acceleration as we see Courtney Johnson from LSU in her start. These three women started well, but what you don't see on the right of your screen is T.T. Terry keeping her head down. The rest of these women had to chase her a little bit, and when you're down in lane one, you don't always have to see the rest of the field. Well, that is a little bit of an upset out of lane one. But when it's going your way, it's going your way. Look at that. All three, second through fourth, all got the same time. It was a blanket for second through fourth. Daniels gets the nod for second. Seymour, Courtney Johnson ended up finishing fifth. But Tanisha Terry with 10 more points for USC is downstairs with John. Uh, yeah, USC is wearing it out right now. Tanisha Terry is the first one. You said you didn't see anybody the whole thing. No. My coach didn't tell me to come in and believe, and it'll happen. Focus on your race. Don't change anything up. Go out here and do what you've been doing. Inspired at all by what you saw in the hurdle? Definitely inspired by the hurdles, the 400, and then I knew it was my turn to keep it going. And then I, I, I'm going to let you literally zoom out of here. Where, where does this celebration come from? From Miami Northwestern football players. Shout out to Liberty City, Miami Northwestern, but they came up with that dance. Yeah, the dirt bike dance. Drive, drive out of here. Uh, we're we're going to drive right upstairs to, for more field event coverage.